Are you ready to embark on an exhilarating journey through the tactical battlegrounds of Counter-Strike 2? Whether the adrenaline of first-person shooters is what you live for, or you're stepping into the intense world of CS2 for the first time, this guide isn't just a starting point, it's your launch pad to dominating the arenas. Imagine standing victorious, your foes outmaneuvered and outplayed, all because you mastered the game from your very first match. That's not just a possibility, it's your upcoming reality. Have you ever watched in awe as seasoned players navigate CS2 with such ease and precision, making every shot count and every strategy seem flawless? What separates the elites from the rest isn't just hours of gameplay, but a deep understanding of the fundamental mechanics and secret strategies that turn a basic player into a feared competitor. We're peeling back the curtain to reveal these closely guarded secrets, transforming your gameplay from basic to brilliant. By the end of this guide, you'll not only know the best tips, but understand why and how they work, setting you apart from the crowd. Today, we're delving deep into the heart of Counter-Strike 2, breaking down everything from the pulse-pounding mechanics to the strategic nuances that can make or break your game. This isn't just another run-of-the-mill tutorial, it's a comprehensive blueprint designed to equip you with the knowledge and skills to outthink, outflank, and outshoot your opponents. You'll learn to anticipate your enemy's moves, adapt to the evolving battlefield, and assert your dominance in every match. Get ready to transform your approach, refine your tactics, and evolve from a novice to the nemesis that every player will come to respect and fear how to play CS2. In this section, we'll delve deep into the core gameplay of Counter-Strike 2, guiding you through the foundational structure that defines every match. Understanding these basics is crucial for anyone looking to make their mark in the game. Understanding the 5v5 format. Counter-Strike 2 is built around a 5v5 competitive format, meaning each match features two teams, each with five players. This setup isn't just about pitting 10 players in a virtual arena. It's a carefully balanced environment that tests teamwork, strategy, and individual skill. Each player's role is pivotal, as success hinges not just on personal prowess, but on coordination, communication, and collective strategy. Whether you're playing as Terrorists TS or Counter-Terrorists CTS, every member contributes to the overarching objective, making each round a blend of high-octane gunfights and tactical gameplay. Roles of Terrorists and Counter-Terrorists The distinction between the Terrorists and Counter-Terrorists is at the heart of CS2's gameplay. As Terrorists, your primary objective is to plant the bomb at one of the designated bomb sites or eliminate the opposing team. This role demands aggression, strategic planning, and the ability to create and exploit openings in the enemy's defense. On the flip side, counter-terrorists are tasked with defending these bomb sites, preventing the bomb from being planted or defusing it if the need arises. This role requires a defensive mindset, quick responses, and tactical foresight to anticipate and thwart the terrorists' plans. The contrast in objectives between the two teams creates a dynamic and ever-evolving battleground where strategies must be adapted on the fly, and understanding these roles is key to mastering the game. Significance of the Mr. 12 System CS2 employs the Mr. 12 System, which stands for Max Rounds 12. This means that each half of the match consists of up to 12 rounds, with the teams switching roles after the first half. A total of 24 rounds are played, and the first team to secure 13 rounds wins the match. This system ensures a brisk, engaging, and competitive environment, as it requires teams to adapt quickly and efficiently to changing circumstances. The Mr. 12 format not only tests your in-game skills, but also challenges your strategic thinking, team coordination, and mental resilience. Strategic Aspect of Swapping Sides The halftime swap is a pivotal moment in every CS2 match. It forces teams to adapt to a completely different set of objectives and strategies. A team that might have dominated as terrorists in the first half must now recalibrate and defend as counter-terrorists and vice versa. This switch tests the versatility and adaptability of every player and team. Excelling in CS2 isn't just about mastering one side. It's about being proficient in both attacking and defending, understanding the nuances of each role, and exploiting the weaknesses of your opponents. The halftime swap adds a layer of unpredictability and excitement, making each match a thrilling experience where no lead is secure, and comebacks are always possible. In conclusion, grasping the structure of a CS2 match is fundamental to your success in the game. 
The 5v5 setup, the distinct roles of terrorists and counter-terrorists, the Mr. 12 system, and the strategic depth provided by the side swap all contribute to the rich, competitive fabric of Counter-Strike 2. Whether you're strategizing an aggressive assault or meticulously planning your defense, understanding these elements is your first step toward achieving mastery in CS2. Introduction to Maps and Modes Welcome to the diverse world of CS2 maps and game modes. Each map is a unique battlefield with its own set of strategies, challenges, and secrets. Understanding the terrain is crucial, whether you're planting the bomb or rescuing hostages. Bomb Defusal Maps Most CS2 matches are played on bomb defusal maps, where terrorists aim to plant a bomb at one of two sites, and counter-terrorists strive to prevent the plant or defuse the bomb. Key maps include Dust Roman 2, iconic for its balanced layout and clear landmarks. Inferno, known for its narrow paths and strategic choke points. Mirage, offers a mix of open spaces and tight corners, demanding versatile tactics. Strategies for success. Learn the layout. Familiarize yourself with common plant spots, choke points, and sniper nests. Control the map. Dominate key areas like mid in Mirage or Banana in Inferno to control the team's movement. Coordinate with your team. Use smokes, flashes, and molotovs to execute or defend against site takes. Hostage rescue maps. In hostage maps, like Office, terrorists guard the hostages while counter-terrorists plot their rescue. Tips for navigating. Understand the layout. Know where hostages are located and plan your rescue or defense strategy. Timing is key. Coordinate your movements and utility usage to distract or disorient the enemy. Adapt your strategy. Be ready to switch from stealth to aggression, depending on the enemy's positioning and your team's needs. Game Mode Impact Each game mode requires a different approach. Competitive mode demands teamwork and strategic depth, while casual allows for more individual experimentation and learning. Understanding the Arsenal CS2's arsenal is vast and varied, with each weapon suited to particular situations and playstyles. Knowing when and what to buy is the first step to becoming a proficient player. The buy system. Start each round by evaluating your team's economy and deciding between saving, buying, or eco-buying. Remember, saving for a full buy in the next round can be more beneficial than a half-hearted purchase now. Selecting your weapons. Rifles, the backbone of any arsenal. The AK-47 T side and M404 M401 CT side are reliable choices for their balance of firepower and accuracy. SMGS, ideal for close quarters combat or anti-eco rounds. The MP9 and UMP45 offer good mobility and decent damage. Snipers, the AWP is a game changer but requires skill and positioning. Use it to hold long lines of sight and pick off enemies from a distance. Mastering recoil. Practice the recoil patterns in a private server. Knowing how to control your spray can turn a difficult firefight in your favor. Aim for short, controlled bursts with rifles to maintain accuracy over distance. Strategic purchasing. Balance your purchases with your team to ensure everyone is adequately equipped. Consider the utility smokes, flashes, grenades as crucial as weapons. They can change the course of a round when used correctly. Essential beginner strategies. Navigating the intricacies of CS2 can be daunting for newcomers. However, mastering a few fundamental strategies can significantly enhance your gameplay and set you on the path to becoming a formidable player. Let's delve into these essential tactics. Crosshair placement. Precision matters. Keep your crosshair at head level and anticipate where opponents will appear. This reduces the need to adjust your aim drastically and allows you to react more swiftly during encounters. Stay focused. As you navigate the map, adjust your crosshair placement according to the common angles enemies might peek from. The Art of Peeking Quick Peeks Master the technique of quick peeking to gain information or take a shot without exposing yourself excessively. Use the AND keys to strafe out and back behind cover efficiently. Shoulder Peeks Use this to bait out shots from snipers or check if an enemy is holding an angle, revealing their position with minimal risk. Understanding Recoil Control your shots. Learn the recoil patterns of your favorite weapons. Practice controlling the spray by dragging your mouse in the opposite direction to the weapon's kickback. Burst fire. In long range engagements, opt for short, controlled bursts or single shots to maintain accuracy and manage recoil effectively. 
Effective use of grenades. Smoke grenades. Use them to block enemy lines of sight, create safe passages, or execute strategic sight takes. Flashbangs. Master the timing to blind opponents effectively, allowing you to clear angles or push positions aggressively. He grenades. Ideal for dealing damage to enemies hiding behind cover or in tight spaces. Use them to weaken opponents before an engagement. The critical importance of sound. Listen intently. Footsteps, reloads, and utility usage give away enemy positions. Use this information to make informed decisions and anticipate enemy moves. Sound strategy. Move quietly when necessary by walking holding the shift key, and be mindful of the noise you make, as it can reveal your position to attentive enemies. Adopting these strategies will not only improve your individual gameplay, but also contribute positively to your team's performance. Practice consistently, and don't be afraid to experiment and find what works best for you. In this guide, we've covered the pivotal strategies and insights essential for any CS2 newcomer. From understanding the flow of the game, mastering your weaponry, to tactical positioning and sound awareness, these foundational tips are your first step towards in-game competence and confidence. Recap of key points. Maintain proper crosshair placement for quicker, more accurate shots. Utilize smart peeking techniques to gather information and secure kills. Learn and control weapon recoil patterns to improve shooting accuracy. Use grenades strategically to gain advantages in various situations. Leverage sound cues to outsmart your opponents and make informed decisions. If this guide has enlightened your path to becoming a better CS2 player, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. Your journey from a beginner to a skilled player is filled with continuous learning and practice. Embrace the process, stay dedicated, and soon, you'll be the player leading your team to thrilling victories. Ready to dominate the CS2 arenas? Load up, lock in, and let's get those wins.